Hello everybody. Today is Friday the 13th and we are reading from Jesus Always by Sarah Young. Seek to include me in more of your moments by living in joyful dependence on me. I am with you, watching over you continually. Nothing you do is beyond my sight. No task or opportunity is too small to ask for my help. Actually, your very existence, including each breath you breathe, depends on my sustaining power. When a difficult task lies before you, you usually remember to pray about it, both before you begin and throughout the challenging endeavor. You punctuate your work with brief prayers such as, Help me, Lord, and thank you, Jesus. These communications increase both your reliance on me and your gratitude for my continual presence. When you're involved in less challenging activities, however, you often forget about me and plunge ahead on your own. You may experience some degrees of success, but you miss a far greater blessing that was available had you sought my help. Or you may fail miserably, whereas depending on me would have brought success. So rely on me in all you do. I have blessings awaiting for you. Scriptures for today. I am with you and will watch over you wherever you go. And I will bring you back to this land. I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised you. Genesis chapter 28 verse 15. The sun is the radiance of God's glory and the exact representation of his being. Sustaining all things by his powerful word. After he had provided purification for sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty in heaven. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 3. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make your path straight. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 6. So, in everything that we do all day long, just include God in it. Seek Him in everything. Call on His name for help all the time. Not when things get hard for us or we have challenges and tasks that is too much for us. Call on Him when things are easy going. Call on His name. Jesus, thank you. Let Him know you're thinking about Him. Pray to Him. Talk to Him every day, all day every second of the day because it is he that equips you with everything that we are needing throughout every moment of that day nobody else but him and no task and opportunity is too small to ask for for help there is no limit on our father who is in heaven we like to put him in a box because our mind can't expand that way, the way our father mind is. So we don't think that he's this God that's just so powerful that he does any and everything that he chooses to and can do and will do. And he doesn't need nobody help. We can only see where we as in the physical you know, we need people help we ask for people help they may help they may not you know just like when we give God when we communicate in prayers God answer our prayers it might not come when we want them but it does get answers so he is a God of no limits it's nothing he can't do for us as long as we ask him. So seek him and ask him and it shall be given. As long as it aligns with his purpose for you. 
And always ask the Lord to reveal His divine plan for your life. Someone told me that. A good friend and mentor. So, um, so ask Him. And remember that when we depend on Him, it's a whole lot less stressful than when we try to do it ourselves. And when we depend and rely on Him, He has something in store for us. I think I had, had mentioned before, I see it as like Christ, when, when, when God says that we are predestined and He's had everything laid out for us, all our days of our lives has been planned, He's taken care of that. So that means that once we become an acknowledging Him and relying on Him, all we have to do is He allows us to live the next day. We wake up in that day that He's already taken care of it yesterday. And all we have to do is stay in obedience with Him and doing everything the way that His Word has taught us. And just for being obedient, the Lord blesses you. Isn't that something? But knowing that your life is so much better just for obeying Him and following His teaching and loving Him and forgiving others and, and helping others and being Christ-like and changing your old habits and letting the new habits habits come into play to enter into you and you start taking those action steps God will work and transform you so seek him and everything and never forget him he's not a box so that is our devotion for today I do continuously encourage each of you to read and study the scriptures for yourselves Get with someone who is knowledgeable of the scriptures um, from God's perspective and study with them. Have a study group. Invite someone who's not a part of the body of Christ, which is the church of Christ, which is the people belonging to Christ. Baptize, emerge believers and followers only of Jesus Christ's teachings. Not man-made um, opinions and putting-ins and doctrines and, and uh, things of such. But only Jesus, Christ's teaching that you find in them scriptures. Um, that has to do with your salvation. Is anything else outside that has nothing to do with your salvation. But his word has everything to do. So stay in it. And for those who have fallen by the wayside. Restore yourself to the Lord through repenting of whatever wrongs that you have committed and ask Him to forgive you and ask the church to pray for you or ask people to pray for you and come back and and be a um, I don't want to say participant but just be a follower of, of Christ and be a worker, a doer, and a hearer of the word. For those of you who are not in Christ, get to know him. Get to know him and get with someone that is Christ-like, that is strong in their faith, that studies that Bible daily, or, or if they fall away, is if they don't study daily, at least they study every other day or close to daily as possible. Because, um, but that's what you want. You want someone who studies that word and knows and lives that life, and they reflect Christ in them. So get to know Him for yourself, and read the Scriptures. And um, so that is it for tonight. God bless you all, and Lord's willing. Uh, until next time, remember, I love you and God loves you, and have a good night.
たい。